Welcome back to part two of the tutorial. Okay, in this part, we're gonna build the fenders and start to build the the side panels. Okay, we just need to bring these fenders in according to the front view. So you click that line, go edit because the the two lines are linked together. If you edit one, it will edit the other other one as well so if you go to front view actually we'll bring the four views up so you can see it easier and actually there's a tool that it's called move and it will move let us move and rotate okay so we need to rotate that so just bring that in and accept actually if you rotate the point here and you click that point there you can rotate just put it roughly where it is since since the two lines are linked they the offset lines and the other lines will rotate as well so we'll do the same here move curve drag to the left and rotate slightly okay yep there you go that's, that's more like it okay so the next part is important I want to build the side panel the side panel connects with the roof panel and there's a line that divides between them that line is really important that line links with many other lines so um so that line here connects with a the front wheel arches and it connects all the way to the back of the wheel so i'm going to start by drawing the front wheel arches here so yeah it's um takes a lot of time to figure that out and i'm just telling you here so save you all the trouble so I activate the right right view and draw the curves over here. So we need to draw this curve goes all the way down and bends forward. Now we go to adjust the curve okay so when when you have a really complicated curve it's a good idea to pull on the degree five um, i just read somewhere it's a good idea your your curve looks a lot better if you have a degree five so just go in and try build your curves with the points evenly distributed and also the gaps between the point and line is um fairly similar similar you don't want a, a bit more very large here very small very large keep it in a nice flow like you want a gradual um, change across so something like that and we go to the front view and check it with the front view as well in the top view I'm just gonna pause the video and just uh, skip through the amount of time I'm gonna do this because I want to build this curve carefully okay so just drag the points across drag the points across and make it match the blueprints yeah so basically a good surface is make sure that the, the, the lines are beautiful you want to get a nice lines so yeah how your car will look 
depends on your lines and points make sure the, the lines are nice okay that's fine let's have a look I think I need to bring it back bring the back bits across more okay so the next next line is important next line is the line for the back of the car okay so we just gotta show the back view and hide the front view so go to view click images select the front view hide and click the back view unhide and accept and we go to the style tool and we activate the back plane and turn on back view okay so we're gonna draw the back okay so turn on control points delete unnecessary ones okay so this point alright so we just gotta because this line is gonna tangent across the mirror line we gotta put the tangent on horizontal and we'll put it about there what else okay one important point is for this point here it needs to be right on because we just draw it it could be anywhere it doesn't hit sit right on the middle plane so you can go to points in the curve edit you can change that to uh, I know that point on the X is right in the middle and I just put it in and that point will be right on in the middle you can figure that out when you create that plane yeah so it, yeah when you draw the plane you get the coordinates for that middle point so the next part we gotta adjust the top view as well so when you draw your curves check the top view your other views as well because they're just flat on one view we we'll just adjust the top view here and that's fine let's have a look okay right now we're going to draw a line connecting the, the mirror and the side panel and we'll switch on to right view okay basically this line travels from this side to here so again if you hold shift it will snap on the, the, the point and we want to draw a line from there to there except so this line is very important it sits right there and it goes forward to about the, the front of the car and we're gonna we're gonna bring it closer to the top view so there you go this line here this line um, connects with many other many other surfaces so yeah it's, it's a good trick for anyone who wants to learn how to build a car that line out yeah it's just yeah it's, it's more important later on and we just bring it up 
a bit more okay so now I'm gonna build the side panel the basic side panel I'll bring the right view up and this line I'm gonna offset it down actually just make a copy and I'll unlink it because see the points the points are connecting to the lines we gotta unlink them and we drag them down okay so sometimes it doesn't work we just gotta bring the other views up and try to keep it straight I'm not sure how to make it cons constrained horizontal but just bring it down and except that looks fine so this is just needs to be flat here just as the bottom of the car and check with your front view and top view as well so I have a actual model of the car so I know this line is more straight on the top view so it's not curved like that so we just bring that across should be more and yeah it's just really flat here should be flat there be aware the the blueprints are not hundred percent correct. They they're often wrong and yeah sometimes you just got to use your judgment and use your own um yeah use your own eyes to to adjust the surface and make it how you like. But to make a surface here, we're gonna draw a curve onto this line you hold shift make sure the point snaps on and bring it to the right plane make sure it's nice and straight we go to edit curve and bring it make it horizontal okay so just go to the front view we just need to make that round so it makes a nice round look on the car so edit curve put the control point on and make it slightly more round and we're ready to make the surface so just click the, this button here so you have your outer lines and the, the center lines is that what they're called? they're called internal lines so primary lines and click on there click on the cross yeah it's a cross section so and there you go that's that's your car model so what you can do you can readjust it on the fly as well so just go and edit that curve and it will change the surface will change to okay that's it so when we draw a surface the key is to keep the surface basic like a square shape with basic basic lines and all the surfaces on the car are trimmed out so the surfaces are usually larger than you think so we're going to trim that surface and make it look like the car so that's the end of this part uh, follow the links and uh, follow the links to see the other parts of the video uh, that's it for this part see you in the next part